Well, folks, one of my pleasures in life, and you, you saw at the beginning of the show, are, are my, my fish tanks. I, I haven't had them for a long time. And the great people down here at Coral Reef in Perrysburg, this is Susan and this is Mark. And uh, they, they are going to uh, talk to me a little bit about things. And Susan, Mark, you know, it's been a while since I've done this. And I'm actually taking a tank that's from the 1980s. It's a 90 gallon tank. But as you've seen from pictures, and you've been helping me get some stuff set up here, things have changed. People are so crazy. Oh my God, it's so hard to do a saltwater tank, and it's just not anymore. It's not. One of, one of the things that uh, we've been able to see with what you have here is, you know, the lighting, uh, all of the filter systems and everything, it's become so much more cost effective. And when you get people coming in here, do you get a lot of people that come in and it's like, oh my gosh, what do I got to do? Oh, for sure. For what, sure. what what is the first thing like say your everyday people that would be watching my show uh, you, do you want to get them in like I say a 20 gallon tank or do you want to go more than that actually like the larger the water volume mm -hmm. the better off you are so whatever you can set up with initially the larger it is the better off gotcha um, you have more grace with the water but certainly you can always do a smaller tank there are some little added filtration tweaks that you can do um, that are very simple, water changes to control your your chemistry of your water. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty it's basic. That easy. Mm -hmm. And what you're able to do here, uh, you know, I've always had a thing about uh, tap water, you know, with, with the tank, because as we do this, folks, this is, uh, we're just kind of starting out here now with everything we're doing. We're going to You've got some new things that are going to be coming in. We're going to showcase that a little bit later here in the show, too. But uh, uh, I, I really dig the coral, and I dig the live rock and all of that stuff. And it's it, it's expensive. It can get very expensive, Mark. And uh, and so you want to keep it. And I was worried about that tap water. But, I, I mean, there's things to alleviate the problems with tap water, right? Yes, correct. Yep. We sell um, reverse osmosis water. Oh. So that... that that makes a huge difference in setting up. Mm -hmm. um, keeps the allergies down and um, it gives you a good fresh start. Yeah. So we we sell that here in house. There's also a way that you can um, create that using a little bit of product. Well, we're gonna we're gonna come over here and look at one of these fish tanks, and, uh, and we've got a lot of stuff we're gonna be doing here. Now, as we look at this big, beautiful 300 gallon tank here. You wonder, like, oh my goodness, what are the hard things you have to do? I would have to say probably lighting is the main, you know, you say, I, see, I like the rock more than I, I know I'm scaring your fish. <laughs> I like the rock more than the, the, the fish, actually, and growing the coral and things like that. And you're basically all, here in Toledo, you're it. You're, you're pretty much it. <laughs> We've been in business since 90, I guess it's been 20 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I know uh, we're, we're airing this, uh, I think next weekend they're having a big thing over at the French Quarter, right? We are. We're having a, um, it's a... Uh, it's a frag swap. It's a frag swap. It's a, a reef club in the area. So here you can get putting it rock. Um, you can get corals. You can corals. get the live corals. Okay. I'm going to be doing Fish. two large booths there. Oh, We're wow. going to be selling all kinds of different small little fragments, getting people interested in the hobby and, and introduced to the hobby. So for someone who is getting into the hobby or someone that doesn't know a lot about the hobby, it's a fun little activity for them to come to where there's like no pressure really to buy. It, it's and this is all this weekend, uh, is it Saturday and Sunday? Or? It's actually March 11th. Or March 11th. Well, that's even yeah. better. Mm -hmm. See, folks, that's even better. Uh, one thing, and we're going we're gonna to talk about filter systems and everything here, too. Sure. Uh, you've got some new stuff and everything, but, like, with what you've got set up here, lighting-wise, everything has gotten so much easier and so much cost-efficient because I remember to have a tank like this, you had those big halide bulbs to get they that were, white color. They were really energy no, consuming. Definitely. Yes. And they came up with these LEDs now and it's it's really worldwide and it's an energy saving product. You might spend as much or even possibly Initial. 
Uh, initially, but the life of the fixtures are seven to ten years, oh where the life of a themselves. the life of a fluorescent bulb is approximately eight to ten months. Oh my goodness. So the savings there is just grand. Yeah. And then on your electric bill, just for instance, you know, we we switched a lot of our lighting here in the store when we moved here in 09. Mm -hmm. And we saw a really great difference, reduction in our electric bill here just in running our store. And I mean, you're white. That's the white you want. There's, you know, that you want That's to try the color and get you want. You want the, you want the color you to it. penetrate down to the bottom of the tank. Um, and with the LEDs, they've, they've found a way to do that, so. And I'm assuming uh, they're not hot anymore either. They're so not. that's got to make a big difference with what you've got in there. Yeah. And, and yeah, the, the fans, the electricity, you know, just the continual running of, of the fans is a great savings that you don't have to, you know, it's, they don't, the LEDs, you don't have to have a fan in it. Right. Hey Mike, we've got a great way for people to get started in the aquarium hobby. And this is a 14 gallon bio cube. It has nice curved corners in the front. It opens with a hinged lid. All your equipment is in the back. It's all concealed. And then we have LED lighting, which is the new lighting that everybody's using. Okay, Mike, I know you have a fish tank at home, a bigger tank at home, and this is the filter systems that we use on our bigger tanks or wet dry filters. And they're very easy to use, uh, very low maintenance, they do a wonderful job. Um, all you have to do when you buy one, you just need a pump in there to run them. Other than that, it's uh, very simple to run. There's one little pad on the top that you have to, you have to clean once a week. Other than that, there's not much to it. And our whole shop is set up with wet dry systems and uh, we've been using them for 20 years as long as we've been in business. So we just we feel that uh, they, they do a great job and there's a the bio balls what the bio balls do they provide the bacteria that the fish need in the system. And then what happens is after a couple years after the tanks established you can actually take out the bio balls if you want. The bio balls are basically to get the tank started for the first year. And then after that, we kind of rely on the live rock. That helps us with our bacteria also.